Okay, let's pick it up at O'Hare International Airport, Chicago. Just landed and heading for my bag. You know me name Machine Man. A machine man do machine things. So I'm stopping and looking at any vending machine that crosses my path along the way. Check out the CVS Pharmacy vending machine. Fully stacked with all your essentials. I mean, it's literally a pharmacy. I wonder what foot traffic has to be like for a machine like this to make sense from an investment standpoint. This airport is top five busiest airports in the US, so I guess it would make sense here. All right, more machines. Finally got to my carousel. I don't know how to pack light. Don't judge me. Dry rot alert. Lost my shoe heel going through airport security in DC. Stepped on the back of my heel to take them off. And next thing I know, my Oxfords was a goner. So first things first, gotta do a quick switcheroo. Ah yeah, my Clark's bank robbers, never travel without them. All right, more machines, some full line machines, snack and drink machines, and another CVS pharmacy at the end. Okay, so these pharmacy machines making sense out here for sure. That's the second in very close proximity. Well, this is the corridor that links the airport to the Chicago subway system. So that's real major, major traffic in and out of this area. All right, take some selfies. Don't know, machine man thing. Hit the train and we're on our way to McCormick Place. I like coming to Chicago. This is only my second time here. My first time in 2018 for the Toastmasters International Convention also at McCormick Place. I came with the Antigua Toastmasters Club and that was a great experience for me. Big up Antigua Toastmasters Club. I'll be back. But I love Chicago. I love the skyline. It's really an aesthetic city. I love, love, love their deep dish pizza. I make sure to go hard on that every time. I love the people, they showed me love. Yo, go back to that area clip of the city. I like the architecture, I like how they built around the river. It's a nice place. All right, get off my comic train stop, Uber to the hotel, drop off my bags, linked up with the Hughes brothers, another antique and vending operator in the building. Machine man, the machine things. <laughs> <You check? laughs> then we hit McCormick Place and run up a Nama Show 2022. You guys don't need it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. That's what happens. I usually, yeah, I've been sending people your way to like, to, to watch the videos and collaborate. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate Absolutely. It. We'll see you a little bit. No, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Look, another CVS Pharmacy vending machine. Like, what's going on? If you've been counting, this is my third CVS Pharmacy vending machine in a few hours. I just checked the stat. I'm the greatest of all time. Hear this. That's the most CVS Pharmacy vending machines viewed on a Wednesday within a three hour span by a person that wasn't a vending operator or an employee of CVS Pharmacy that didn't purchase a product from any of the machines visited. What? 
I'm the greatest of all time. Well, it's more than three hours, but it sounds more dramatic. I'm still the GOAT. Check out this robotic coffee maker. The demonstration held my attention and we're not even on the floor yet. Anyway, let's do it. Let's hit the floor, man. Single use aluminum with a refill. Um, we do still, we do alkaline, we do sparkling, and we have flavored sparkling. We do this size, the 20.3 is the most popular, so it's all bigger. Um, we're available in most major distributors, this star is one. We're in booth 100 if you want to look at the okay. sparkling, we have flavored sparkling, we have right. alkaline there as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure. Did you get some? Did you get one? Let me get one. All right. By the time we got to McCormick Place, I had already missed out on the education sessions that I really wanted to go to. In my last video, Why You Should Go To The Nama Show, I mentioned that the educational sessions was something I was really looking forward to and I wanted to take advantage of them. Why? They're insightful, packed with information, packed with different ideas that you can implement in your business. That's a bummer that I miss them, but it is what it is. I still have the best part of the show left. Okay, so the sauce here is very tasty and healthy. What is this? So this is Celsius, like this is energy drink. It's um, better than the regular coffee. It has uh, 200 milligrams of the caffeine and it has seven essential vitamins. Um, and also it has zero sugar. So like all these tastes are very... So high caffeine, no sugar. 200 caffeine, 200 milligrams. Less than the coffee. Is it good? It's delicious. <laughs> it's the best thing you ever tried. Really? Yes. Like you will try one and you will want like to drink it every day. Would you like some? So great. I'll try it. Yeah, sure. But they have to. I got it. I did hear the best about the resort. I mean. Antigua, though. The hair was small. The very small. The sandals, but it's not that small? No. So I have to go to the sandals in Antigua on my honeymoon, they said. That's where I have to go. <laughs> all right, all right. These locks can be operated remotely. I'm sorry? These locks can be operated remotely. Um, so via, Blue, via Bluetooth at the location, um, there are version two or three. We'll be able to uh, do it through a web portal. Okay. But we, we try to stay away from that because you don't want to be able to fire it when nobody's in front of it that should be. Indeed, 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 <laughs> yeah. indeed, indeed. Make sure you get a good close-up of them now. <laughs> <laughs> the this, is, this is man. the good guy right here. Watch, watch that's it, ready? That's a great, that's a great uh, concept. Great brand. I like it a lot. Yeah. They love Ali. Check my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, uh, even better. That'll be even more fun. Are we yeah. gonna be on YouTube? Uh, maybe. Are, are, are we gonna get a feature? We're gonna get a feature, you Bill. Just <laughs> you don't show up on film. Machine ting. Machine, machine, machine ting. So when you do the camera feature, you call us. All right. We'll do, we're gonna hook you up. Let me get right on it. We'll do. We'll do. We'll right. do. Very. You guys, do good branding. Love it. Thank you, man. Appreciate Love it. it. And I'll see you in Antigua. <laughs> Another main focus and goal of mine was to campaign for my region, the Caribbean region. As we're in the backyard of a developed nation, that being the US, you will be surprised at how often we are neglected with certain services, certain opportunities with regard to this industry, the automatic merchandising industry. I'm talking about services that are commonplace in developed countries, but are non-existent in Antigua or our region. That's something I would like to change. This was a conversation I had with most companies trying to figure out how we can get those services in our region. How can we get the support? I'm just here trying to figure out how we as vending operators or aspiring vending operators in the Caribbean can have an easier transition in running business, doing business. How are you doing, gentlemen? How's it going? I'm doing fine. I wish we supported St. John's. We don't yet. No, you so, don't. That's why I came and talked to you. Yeah, I think I've already <laughs> spoken to you once. We're just not there yet. It's because it's a tourist area, and tourist areas don't bring the biggest bang for the buck. That it's exactly why we're the tourists, because we have a lot of North American tourists coming to the islands, and they want to catch us out. But I can't offer cash options. 
as I know, no means cash, 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 cash. I know. Even though Antigua is still a very cash-driven society, we definitely would like to have I, I, solutions. Oh. You know how many people we hear all the time from Caribbean, etc., that that want us. We're just. I hear it's coming. I don't know if it's going to be St. John's or not. But I've heard that for. I've been there six years. I've heard that for three years now. Credit card increases your sales by thirty percent. I think. Let me flip you over here. <laughs> St. John's, it is. Uh, but yeah, we want to take a picture because we want to be famous all over the world. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> I got your video. It's a video. It's a video. Oh, man. nice. Did you make your There we go. Yeah, man. Hi from the U.S. and Israel here. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so these guys promised to give me some support in Antigua soon. You Check their faces out, but you too, watch it. Hey, you, you operators, you pull, yeah, pull you together hundred and hundred machines and we're gonna get cashless over to oh, you. Man. <laughs> Day one complete, machine man do machine things, you don't know. What the hell are you doing, man? You're the machine man? Yes, I am. What the hell does that mean? My day two started on a little road trip with the Antiguan crew. We ended up eating breakfast at IHOP, made a few stops along the way, then Ubered back to McCormick Place. It was more conversations with more companies and I saw more demonstrations. Which brings me to another highlight of this year's trip, Nama 2022. At the show, I caught up with 365 Retail Markets, a leading provider of self-service commerce technology to the food service industry. They're a really cool bunch of people. They sure do know how to have a good time. They were the only company, at least to my knowledge, that had a fully functioning bar loaded with anything you wanted. We passed through, had two drinks, got loose, and took in a detailed demonstration of one of their micro-market solutions. After the presentation, I learned that 365 Crew was having an after-party, night at the museum. I was like, what? Sign me up. We know we had to pass through and show some love. It was another great networking event. The setting was amazing for a function like this. I couldn't have picked a better place. I threw down a few more drinks and I really had a good time making connections, mixing and mingling. What is the name of this hotel at our museum again? What's up guys, Machine Man do machine things. Here at the Field Museum in Chicago. It's colder than a b Yeah, cold. Had a good time socializing, mixing and mingling, networking with the Nama crew, with all, with the 365 crew. Yeah, had a good time, man. Mushy man, the mushy things, bro. Kaboom. This is day three, the final day of the Nama show. Chicago, McCormick Place, and just about to go get ready, about to have a shower, put on some clothes and go back down there, have some last minute networking, have a few things I wanna accomplish. I'm actually presently having a problem right now in Antigua. My vending machine is locked and I can't get it open. That's the simplest form of saying how what's happening. Got some um, ideas from the USI team, tell me what to do. And I'm going to go and got some video, I got footage of it, of what is happening. So I'm going to show them the footage. Maybe they can give me some more insight. And hopefully I can walk them through the situation because this is one of my busiest locations. And I really need to get the machine up and going because I have a lot of customers, I have a lot of people who need to use that machine. So that's what's going on. That's the plan for today, just to go and have a conversation with the USI team. Hopefully they can walk me through and let me know exactly what's the issue, why my door is closed and I can't get it open. Using the key, it's not opening. Nothing is, nothing is working right now. Anyway, machine man do machine things. See you guys on the floor. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm huddled here with the USI team, throwing around some ideas. Shout out to Bob with the in-depth explanation and insight on my problem. 
on how to go about fixing it. Shout out to Jim, Anna, Lewis and Matt, the entire USI squad. I thank you for all the kindness you showed me and my boys while in Chicago. Always helpful, always good energy. As you can see here, I'm showing them some footage I received from my team in Antigua on my phone. If you're interested in knowing how I resolved my door issue, stay tuned to my channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll have a video on that coming soon. After having that quick impromptu meeting with the USI team, I took a final walk through of the floor just to make sure that I explored it all. Meeting and greeting, communicating with some of the major companies was really good. This year's show, the attendance wasn't as strong as it was for my first time in Las Vegas 2018. Expected. I guess the pandemic played its part in that. Some companies that I would have liked to have seen did not have a booth at the show or didn't attend. So be it. I'm happy I came. We had a great time. It was a great show. I stopped and took a few pics with some good people, soaked it all in for the last time, then disappeared. So day three is over. It's done. Heading back to the hotel. Actually gonna get something to eat real quick. Had some really good conversation with some really helpful people. Trying to figure some stuff out. Try and take this vending thing to the next level. It was a really great show this year. I networked, met a lot of people, and head back to Antigua with a new vision, refreshed, more energy, more enthusiasm to expand and grow and keep this thing moving. Machine, man, do machine things. Boom. But before I skip town, one of the very last things I did was to go see the Chicago Bulls play the Charlotte Hornets. Not a bad way to end my trip. It was a good one.